Do not expect Suzuki to make headlines as the new leader of international car making, but you can certainly count on the fact that this manufacturer will continue delivering to its customers appealing models across multiple classes and markets. The improved 2020 lineup of the Japanese brand and its Indian Maruti Suzuki division adds all new entries, plus the old-timers are receiving worthy upgrades as well. Today we'll be digging deep into the exploration of exterior designs, technical specifications, prices and interior packaging of the newcomers. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and ring the bell to constantly stay informed about the latest developments in the industry. Let's start the engines! Suzuki Ignis the current generation Ignis arrived to the market in 2016, and now, four years later, it is getting a mid-cycle facelift. The five-door sports a new front grille, new exterior combinations and redesigned bumpers with fox skid plates. Pop up the hood and you will find the familiar 1.2-liter dual-jet engine that can be linked to a reworked mild hybrid system with a 10 ampere hour battery instead of an old 3 ampere hour one. As before, you can opt for the two-wheel drive or an all-grip 4x4 model. Plus, the hybrid gets a new CVT gearbox option in addition to the previously available 5-speed manual. Inside, the Ignis remains largely untouched. Though Suzuki does offer new color schemes, updated instrument cluster and infotainment with standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brazza Selling half a million units since its release in 2016, the Vitara Brazza has gained the reputation of one of the most popular and awarded compact SUVs in the company's lineup. In its newest form, which was unveiled at the 2020 Auto Expo, it arrives as the sportier version of itself, with bolder looks, stronger stance and premium interior. The front boasts a revised grille with projector headlights and dual-function LED DRLs. Plus, the selection of alloy wheels is further expanded. The model draws strength from a 1.5-liter K-Series BS6 petrol engine coupled with a 5-speed manual or advanced automatic transmission with smart hybrid technology. In the cabin, you will find a premium dashboard with leather-wrapped steering wheel and new Smart Play Studio. Finally, the color palette for the Vitara Brazza gets three new dual-tone color options. Suzuki Jimny The Stania Froder is perhaps the most manically desired model within the affordable segment, especially after the latest redesign. The fourth generation of the Jimny is still a body-on-frame SUV with a ladder-frame chassis and beam axles in the front and rear. The previous iteration looked too docile, so the designers went for the more aggressive exterior. Under the hood, it carries a 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine that produces 101 horsepower and 96 pound-feet of torque. The smell gets mated either to a 4-speed automatic or a 5-speed manual transmission. Under normal conditions, the off-roader is operating with a rear-wheel drive, but there are also 4-wheel drive modes with the high gear and low gear settings. Due to the huge demand on many markets, the new Jimny is scheduled to debut as a 2020 or even a 2021 model. Maruti Suzuki Espresso Planned to be sold in Asia, South Africa and Latin America, the subcompact crossover aims to get a bite out of the Renault Quid Spy on the market. A bestseller potential of the new Espresso is based on the bright SUV exterior that targets young customers, a roomy cabin and of course on the $5200 starting price. The front fascia has an elevated stance, owing to a toothy grille that is paired with a lower black bumper guard and a similar colored skid plate. The 1-liter 3-cylinder is the only engine option for the Espresso. It produces 68 horsepower and 66 pound-feet of torque, and you'll have to decide between a 5-speed manual and auto gear shift transmission.
Suzuki Belano. Though discontinued in the UK for the 2020 model year, the subcompact Belano hatchback feels alive and well, receiving a facelift globally. The model sits on the hardtack platform and sports revised bumpers, a bolder grille and new 16-inch wheels. Higher trims can also be distinguished by the new projector LED headlights and LED DRLs. The engine choices for the Belano vary depending on the country where you're shopping, though the presence of a new 1.2-liter dual-jet gasoline with 48 volt motor seems to be universal across all markets. The mill is paired exclusively with a 5-speed manual gearbox peaking at 90 HP. Inside, the car boasts improved interior materials, new two-tone color schemes, a more advanced driver instrument cluster and 7-inch touchscreen. Suzuki Vitara Redesigned back in 2019, this compact crossover does not get many updates this year, but becomes even more fuel-efficient thanks to the new hybrid powertrain. It uses an updated 1.4-liter booster jet, mated to a 48-volt hybrid system and a 6-speed manual gearbox. This configuration nets 129 horses, slightly less than the non-hybrid booster jet, but with more torque, 173 pound-feet to be exact. It can be had with a two-wheel drive or an optional all-grip four-wheel drive. Regardless of the chosen trim level and drivetrain, your Vitara will come with LED headlights and DRLs, U-shaped central console and a 7-inch multimedia system with smartphone connectivity. In addition, the SUV driver assistance package now includes blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning and prevention systems. Make sure to explore the entire Suzuki 2020 lineup and leave a comment mentioning your top pick. Like this video and let's keep going! Suzuki Swift the newest Swift was completely rebuilt and thoroughly refined from within to become a car that uplifts, drives the heart and stirs emotions. On the outside, it adds on the aggression side by widening the grille. The new LEDs up front give high-tech impression, while the dynamic side window treatment with pillar-mounted rear door handles boosts the sporty flair. The current engine bay is occupied by three options, a 1.0-liter booster jet, a 1.2-liter dual jet and the all-new 48-volt strong hybrid offered exclusively for the Swift Sport Tram for now. The latter is promised to boost the fuel economy by 15% and makes 173 pound-feet of torque. This hatchback is unique in the way of offering a 4x4 drive, which makes Fiat Panda the only obvious competitor in the segment, leaving Ford Fiesta and VW Polo behind. The model is highly connected, offering a 7-inch multi-touch screen, voice recognition, Apple and Android support, and a comprehensive range of safety features. Suzuki SX4 S Cross Three years after a major facelift, the second-generation Suzuki S-Cross remains one of the most strategic models in the company's range and holds a firm grip over a rather misty segment that is where the crossover begins and the SUV ends. In 2020, the model continues with the two fuel-efficient booster jet engines, delivering a superb balance between environmental compatibility and performance. The base models come with a 1.0-liter 3-cylinder producing 111 horsepower, while the optional 1.4-liter 4-cylinder makes 140 ponies. As standard, all trims are equipped with 16-inch alloy wheels, 7 airbags, air conditioning, cruise control and optional LED DRLs. In addition, this spring, Suzuki starts assembling the S-Cross with a new 48-volt hybrid based on the current 1.4-liter. The company claims that the powertrain will offer more torque and a 15% improved fuel economy. Suzuki Artiga Starting its history in 2012, this compact life utility vehicle accommodates 7 people and, unlike many competitors, remains in the affordable price segment, 
costing under $15,000. Last year, the Ortiga entered its second generation, being built on the hardtack platform and boasting a more high-end exterior, sophisticated interior, and larger boot space. The MPV can be had in a variety of powertrains, including a new factory-fitted 1.5-liter that runs on natural gas. The mill is linked to a 5-speed manual, making 92 horses and 90 pound-feet of torque, and returning 61 mpg. For 2020, the Ortiga also gets a new SUV-inspired derivative, named the XL6 or XL7 depending on the market. It is based on the same platform, seats 7 people, but according to Suzuki, features 200 different components. How does Suzuki stack up against other Japanese brands? Will their 2020 models get on your shopping list? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Proceed with your quest of learning about the 2020 lineups by clicking on the icons on the screen. Leave a like, share, and subscribe if you want to get a dose of Automotive Territory daily news on a regular basis. We'll see you later!